guys! So today is probably gonna be a pretty short video uh, just because I don't have a lot to say. I know, shocker. I talk for way too long anyway, so I'm sure this video is actually gonna be like 10 minutes long. But anyway, <laughs> today I wanted to come to you all with a video that is very special to my heart and it is why I love audiobooks. Audiobooks are such a fantastic outlet for reading and I don't understand why a lot of people think that it's not actually reading. Um, just everything about audiobooks is exactly like if you were reading it, like page to page or ebooks or whatever. It still sends you to a different world. It still places you outside of reality and you still enjoy every single word. So this is a couple of reasons why I love audiobooks so much. The first one is that I can listen to them anywhere. As long as I've got my phone and a pair of headphones, I am good to go. So if I'm walking my daughter around the mall, I can listen to an audiobook. If I am at work working on payroll, I can listen to an audiobook. If I'm in the car, I can listen to an audiobook. And they're so versatile because you can start and stop on just about any device and it will pick right back up where you left. You don't have to carry a bookmark around with you. You don't have to remember where you were. You don't have to dog ear any pages. It keeps track for you. So I find that just to be super valuable, especially as a parent and as someone who works in an office. It is something that I have to have. The second is that I read books in audiobook form that I would never read in physical form. So for example, some YA fantasy I listen to strictly on audiobook just because I know if I read it like physically, I'm not going to enjoy it as much. YA fantasy is such a like undervalued audiobook genre. Um, most of the time, not all the time, the narrators are fantastic. They can do multiple voices flawlessly, or if you look out and get a full cast audio, those are like next level. That's like watching a play without actually watching it. It's amazing. But a lot of those books, if I tend to read them physically, I get bored or I think the characters are juvenile or I'm just not in love with them. But if I listen to them in audiobook form, I kind of take the place of that character in my head. It's much easier for me to understand like where they're coming from, what attitude they have when they say things, stuff like that. And it just makes the experience that much more enjoyable for me. So I definitely, definitely have certain genres that are like audiobook only and I love listening to them. And the third is that they are virtually accessible to everyone. Now I know that there are gonna be people that say like, well, I don't have a phone, I can't listen to an audiobook. I don't have any electronic device. I can't listen to an audiobook. I can't afford to buy audiobooks. And I, I get that, I understand that. I am very fortunate that my local library has the Overdrive app or the Libby app, I guess is now what it's called, um, where you can borrow books, from, you can borrow audiobooks from the library online through your phone or through your computer and it makes it so much easier because I can just listen to them on there without actually ever having to pick up um, a version of it or buy it. Um, the other thing is there are apps like Scribd. Um, there's always the local library where they have physical audiobooks or like, uh, I think Cracker Barrel still has audiobooks that you can rent out. And I know that's a weird place, but I think they still do. So, I mean, there are just so many outlets where you can get audiobooks and most of them are pretty inexpensive or free. Like Overdrive and Libby, those are free as long as you have a library card. And then Scribd, I think it's like $8 a month, and that's got tons of audiobooks on it. Cracker Barrel, I have no clue. I don't even know if they still do that or not, or if you have a Cracker Barrel near you, but I remember my mom checking out a bunch of Stephen King audiobooks when I was little. Anyway. <laughs> But it's just such an easy thing for everybody to get their hands on. And I really love that about being able to do audiobooks because that does reach a demographic of people that normal books do not. Like people who are visually impaired or have trouble holding a book still or things like that. They can listen to an audiobook and still enjoy reading without the handicaps or struggles that they've had in the past kind of holding them back. I, I do think audiobooks are very valuable for them. 
So yeah, that's why I love audiobooks. I hope you all like audiobooks too, or at least are willing to try them out after watching this video. Um, just tell me down below if you have some reasons why you love audiobooks or why you've never tried them. Or if you do go to your local library and start listening to them. I would love to hear stuff like that too. Um, so yeah, just tell me down in the comments below or you can contact me on either Instagram or Twitter. I am at Bohannon Babbles on both. My links will be down in the description box below. So please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye!